The Alliance for Substance Abuse Prevention coordinates community-wide efforts to prevent sus uh, substance misuse and help people with addiction. Here to explain more about how they can help are Monica Rousseau and Christina Roberto. They have a great event coming up next week I'm happy to be a part of. Good morning, Good ladies. Morning. This is a big issue in our community, and I know an organization like yours is so needed. So talk a little bit about, you guys call it ASAP, ASAP right? ASAP, right. Alliance for Substance Abuse Prevention, because addiction and its consequences need to be addressed right now. Right so now. ASAP. It is. Right. It's, yeah. a, it's a big need. So what is it? How are you guys doing that? Tell us sure. a little bit about it. So we are a community coalition. So basically what that means is everyone from different sectors comes together to help be part of the solution. So we have doctors, we have nurses, we have law enforcement, teachers, parents, people in recovery from addiction come together to try and solve these very complicated problems. Mm -hmm. And the way we do that is by working together. So one of the ways we've done that in the past was creating really great ordinances to ban spice packaging okay. in Pasco yeah. County. And that became a model for other counties throughout the state. And oh, that was a very that. innovative oh, way. Wow. Yeah. So working together creates really great innovation. So that's what we are and who we are. And we're open to the public. Uh, so we now have several hundred members within our coalition and we're making great strides in the that's opioid awesome. crisis and other issues. So. Well, and it's all about about really getting people to talk about it. I know there's a stigma with a lot of these issues. There's a lot of misinformation that's mm -hmm. out there. Uh, tell us about this conference that's coming up next week. Everybody is invited, but tell us about, I mean, what is the goal and the mission of this? Mm. Right, so um, we have our annual conference, which is September 21st, and we really want to bring all different types of um, community members, whether it's doctors, um, people um, in academia, mm -hmm. uh, social workers, really anybody, parents, youth, um, anyone that can come together to be able to figure out what we can do for our community to help keep people in recovery and encourage uh, others to just kind of figure out what we can all do together. It really is about getting people to talk about it, to not kind of hide this issue under a rug, which I would imagine happens a lot. A lot, and I think a lot of the time when we talk about the opioid crisis, we think that's something someone needs to address. And we don't think about what we can do personally to help that mm -hmm. issue. And there's something everyone can do, whether it's talking to your kids the right way or mm -hmm. disposing your medications appropriately or training doctors on how to um, maybe change their prescription models. There's so many things that we can do as a community and we all have something to do. So that's what the conference well, and really I think highlights. When families think, well, it's not happening in my house, you mm -hmm. know, but your kids are going to school sure. with this, you know, it, it is in our community. And I would challenge that mentality as well. The opioid crisis is overwhelmingly affecting middle-class white America. And most people don't know that. This has always been a, this problem, this problem. This is, this is America's middle class is, mm. is the most impacted by yeah. this right now. Well, uh, as, as we kind of wrap up here, what's your take on? We want to invite everybody again out to this conference. Everybody is invited. The public is Everyone invited. Everyone is invited. We have extended registration, early okay. bird registration. So you still get the discount um, up until I believe next mm -hmm. Tuesday. Uh, so we encourage everybody to go online and register and come hang out with us and learn what they can do to strengthen our communities and prevent addiction. And I'll actually be out there part of a yes. panel discussion. Thank you so which much. I'm so proud of uh, yes. to be a part of. And again, just to get the word out, get people talking about it. It's a culture thing that I think yes. needs to start kind of happening Absolutely. with the shift. So ladies, thank you so much uh, for being here today. Thank you for everything that you're doing in the community and uh, keep us posted on future events. In the meantime, find out about next week event by going to their website. We'll make sure and post it on Artists as well. Thank, thank you ladies. Thank you so much. Thanks.